Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Dowie playthrough here, where we have fended off the Chaos Invasion and are beginning the uh, colonization efforts over in Magarond, uh, trying to have the land grab before the others get in, guys. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. We're just not much left to do, really. We're finishing off the Skaven. And I'm going to be honest, guys, once we've finished off the Skaven, I'm going to keep doing the land grab while we're finishing off the Skaven. But that is going to be the end of this playthrough, because we've done the thing we really set out to do, and oh, we, we're doing the thing we set out to do nicely. It has gone very, very nicely. And, yeah. Ooh, why did I pull you out accidentally? Stop. Join the army. Oh. Uh, we're just going to smash through these guys, get the Skaven finished off, and then that's probably going to be the end of the campaign, unless something major happens between now and then. For the very simple reason that, that less people are watching now. <laughs> Effectively, uh, we are coming to the end. Now, the natural end of this campaign. The world is saved. Literally, all the evil factions are dead or on their knees. Um, there's some sort of enclaves, enclaves of Skaven left, but that's about it. So, with that as well, guys, uh, comments for what you want me to campaign you want me to do next. Uh, character track uh, down below in the descriptions are, it are more than welcome, guys. Uh, pop game suggestion. Hashtag game suggestion next to it, because that way I can search them easily. Um, all one word, just crammed together. Uh, and that way I can find uh, suggestions for it. It doesn't have to be Total War, you can suggest a different game if you want or anything. All keep here. it strategies, keep it something dwarf. on chat which would be sensible for the channel, but yeah. Here it all goes. Oh, I do want to see what Eshin are doing. Not that it really matters. Because they are very definitely dead at this point. Hmm. Holy frame rate, Batman. Excuse me one second. That should help. I'm not quite sure what's going on with my frame rate here. It, it's painful to watch. <laughs> That does seem to have improved a bit. I've put OBS into performance mode. I'm not quite sure what's going on. That's probably because I was bouncing in and out of Tabletop Simulator where I'm trying to work stuff out for a friend's D&D game. Um, but yeah, and that's something else, guys. Would you guys be interested in seeing me doing stuff on Tabletop Simulator, like a few battles or even getting involved with a few battles, potentially, you know? Hmm... Right, over here for the Skaven killing. What do you want? For the wisdom of Valea. True king of eight peaks. Doc Eck. I will not forget this. Billigar. Revenge incarnate. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. That's the high Ooh, trying to sneak past me there, are you? If you dare. Aye, grudges will be settled. The axe thirsts for war. Time for a reckoning. Just a little bit of a... Uh... Hmm. <clears throat> 
you can head down towards the monoliths. You can head straight up to the frozen city, then there. The king's command. You can be kicked. The so you're just going to hold here. There's no point sending you anywhere. You won't make it there. The High King. Whoa, wrong button. I always do that with these places. Okay, there we go. So this would would be the secondary forces going through, but obviously they are not going to be being sent. They will not get there probably before I finish, but they are basically being exiled, but from the old world to the new because they didn't get it. They didn't fight. You know, the, the new High King story is taking his new seat in Karakdrak and exiling the old guard. Uh, for their, for their, for their treason. Effectively forcing them to take the equivalent of Slayer Roves or something, probably, guys. Because that's what you'd do, isn't it? You'd make them take a Slayer Oath and then send them out into the, into the wilds until they died. Or prove themselves somehow. Which amusingly would potentially, if they managed to do that, would I suspect be one of the few ways you could actually modernise dwarf them a bit. Because while they do have lots of tech and researchers, they they're always a bit suspicious of any you know like engineers and things because it's it's new. I do, I don't care what these guys are doing. Hmm. Over new hiking's authority, that would be. Okay, I actually need multiple stacks here then. I hate it when it does that. Shattered Coast is mine. Yes, for the wisdom of the layer, let us begin. The throng agrees. Basically, trapping them. Onward, my axe thirsts for. There we go. Put all of them into one. To start with, I want my iron breakers forward as well. And I definitely want him in the army. Moving by the forge father. So iron breakers and cannons in the front. Somebody can get fire damage. engineer as well so we're going to effectively use my uh use the organ guns to just rip the walls to shreds oh this is a map where you really do wish you had quarrelers as well because um we're not as good at shooting over walls with uh gunpowder but yeah we're basically just gonna rip this sh section of wall here apart move up move in slowly with my iron breakers and kill them all Will. I am strong. For our ancestors. 
take that tower out first. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. That tower next. I mean, if he wants to stay stood on there, he is about to be targeted. Because I can take him out fast. Ah, no, we can't easily hit him. Let's take that out. Then we'll try and take the wall out underneath him before he can get off. Oh, we can try. Because, I mean, we'll still hit the wall, potentially. You know, we are opening up at him. Not really. Oh, no, no, there we go. Let's try and take the wall out underneath him, actually. That's probably a better option. Because speed will kill that wall. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Oh, I got him! Yes, I do have some plague core catapults. I do need to be aware of that, but taking out that warlock engineer was the most important thing for us. I want to knock two holes, a few holes in here, then we're going to uh, reposition our forces slightly. You guys can form up here. Start pushing, basically putting my gunners here to uh, watch them as they position so we can shoot anything approaching us as we try and push in. I really am not going to need everything to go into here. I said uh, that is probably the scariest thing here, but. Please, guys. Come on. 
I need to make a gap so I can exploit it, basically, because these guys will kill everything which approaches now. No, no, no! I hate it when they do that. No. God's sake, don't go in the way I tell you to at all. That'd be too sensible. Reform quickly. Move forwards. You guys can move in. These guys are just positioning there. You can go and poke goddamn Queek. Give all these guys some extra armor. Kill them. Right, move forwards and hit them. Just into the side there and you will shred everything. Literally creating just fire here. No, kill God damn kill Quake. To be fair, my organ gunners, I'm just gonna get off the field now. You guys can charge at them, I want them taken out fast, because they are a pain in the butt. No, my lords can all focus fire Queek a bit. This is a bit of a zerg now, I probably don't need to fight like this, but it's all good fun. I hate Queek Head Taker. Assassin Lords in general are just a pain in the butt. Basically at this point this is just a, a, a mad rush through effectively. You guys can be uh, moved into a separate Little assault force this side. <laughs> I, I am not being tactically clever here, guys. I'm not going to pretend I am. 
I don't really need to care at this point, which is the is both good and bad, I guess. Charge the goddamn catapults, or at least you can. Second that catapult's out, we've won. Oh, well, I could do taking them out, but... It's over. I mean, it was never a doubt there. It was a bit of a short through. I... I didn't fight that particularly prettily, guys. I didn't... Because, let's be honest, I'm brutally honest, I didn't really care. If I took heavy losses there. Um, Cause it's the end of the campaign. So they can they can just t they can take the damage. I dread to think how many of my my deaths were from their catapults. Or my own guys' bombs, let's be honest. Ooh. Oh no, I thought I was crashing for a second there. I actually managed to lose some units. Good god, wow. You Not for long. My axe thirsts for war. Iron weld. Be there, let's skip everything, because again, end of campaign, do we really care? Grim Bombadil has now left for the new world and the, clo the colonies, the, you know, not even in mountains yet, guys. They're just, just cold, open air colonies. Send me to vengeance. Following the former Lord Throggrim. Who is probably a grudge bearer now, because we have a grudge against him. <laughs> Here we go, we've got that whole region. Yes, I will take your trade. I mean, at this point, we are just immense. I love the fact that the poor princes that are still there have a teeny little bit within my territory. Um, in the long run, I'd probably fight for, to get a hold of this, but it's at that point now where it's not really worth it. Hmm. For the wisdom of Valaya. They're the places I don't want in the far north because they don't have... They're not settleable. Oh, okay. Be a pain in the butt. Oh, I do get that. Nice. Time for a reckoning. For clan honor. For the wisdom of Valea. Lord of Clan Morin. That's there, which is the capital of that region. But yeah, I think the colonial efforts are going well. I'm done ready. Yes. I know there's a little Skaven army there. If I'm honest, I don't really give a damn about it. The there we go. Summon me if you dare. Got then. The axe thirsts for war. Move. Ooh. 
Okay, we've got that last little Skaven force. That's all I really care about now. Um, nothing else matters at this point. This campaign is pretty much done, guys. So as mentioned at the start, uh, if you for suggestions for new campaign, do hashtag new game. Um, all one word and put what you suggest just put that somewhere in the comment um, just so I know I can search them easily because that makes it much easier for me to search them guys and yeah let me know what you would like me to play next this is such an odd point of a game to be in because literally I, I could finish up wiping a this is where I I find, I know it's impressive, I know lots of you do probably paint the map, but I just get bored when I paint the map. You what? Really? And then I'd go and stomp up and down on their faces for that. To hell with the uh, negatives. Finish them. And they are destroyed. That's where we're ending this campaign, guys. It is finally over. The Dowie are ascendant under their new high king. Uh, king in the new seat of dwarfdom in Karak Drak. Um... Which does have the Silver Halls, but this is our new, obviously, the new High King's Hall in Karakdrak. Under High King Story Cromson, who uh, defeated the Lords of Chaos in whatever this godforsaken pass is known at. Where you can see the remnants of, oh, so many battles here. Um... Karak Vlog, the pass of Karak Vlog, we'll call it. Anyway, that does conclude it, guys. So thank you very much to everybody for watching, and a massive thank you to my patrons as well. Cheers all.